Peace, my beautiful souls. Welcome back into Soul Sessions. This is my very first video of my herbal tea series. I'm so excited to start this series with you guys, and I figured I'd start off with this video, this Q&A. As you see by the title, this is all about the questions I've gotten, anything dealing with herbal tea that relates to what I do with my herbal teas and myself and anything like that. So if you have not seen my previous video, it talks all about what my herbal tea series is going to be about. Um, my herbal tea series is going to consist of many different things and this is my first video to kind of make the introduction into the series. So make sure you check that video out now before you watch this if you have not seen it yet so you know what is coming up for this series. I'm going to link it below in my description. Go check it out and then come back to this video. If you guys are new to my channel or you have not seen my playlist for all my herbal tea videos, again, I'm going to link that below. So check all my herbal tea videos out. I went through everything and I just wanted to look for questions that were different. I've had a lot of repeating questions, so I'm going to address all the questions that have been asked to me. All right, you guys, the first question that I'm going to answer is where do I buy my herbs from? or best places to buy herbs. The first place I'll go to, if I'm in any town, I'll just look up a local like metaphysical shop or any place that sells loose herbs. So I like to go into stores in person. I love to go get a feel for the energy in there. There's a place here specifically, I really enjoy in Austin, Texas. There's also a place I really enjoyed going to when I was living in Maryland. Um, I will link those places below. So if you are curious of those places that I love to go to, here in Austin, there's one in Maryland as well. Uh, look at my description and I'll link those for you guys. Now, if you don't have shops around you at all, um, I, one, highly advise you supporting um, any local, um, or, or supporting anybody that has their own business and supporting smaller businesses to help them grow. You can look online, I'm sure. You can look on Instagram. Um, there's another. There's one big website that I've heard about that I have not shopped from before, and it's called Mountain Rose Herbs. I will link them below. I hear a lot of good things about them. So you can definitely go to their website and check that out. They have a huge variety of herbs to buy from. So yeah, that's mainly where I get my herbs from is local shops, wherever I can find them. Next question, do I grow my own herbs? I do not currently grow my own herbs, but that is a goal of mine. I have a dream and a goal. And when I own a home and I have enough property or I just have a yard that I can work in or I can have my own greenhouse, I wanna grow my own herbs to cook with, to use in my teas. Like specifically, I envision herbs that are dried hanging from the ceiling and I have my own room that I work with my herbs in and do my crafts and I'm inspired in there and that's like my space so that's a goal of mine in the future but I do not currently grow my own herbs the next question which I think is the most asked question is can I send my tea menu this is my tea menu I've showed it off in many of my herbal tea videos this is a menu that I reference for myself, that I made for myself, just to go to whenever I am working with my herbs and I wanna just figure out, okay, this is uh, the ailment that I need today, or this is what I'm having issues with, or this is what I wanna address in my body, mind, spirit, whatever. And I see um, which herbs are good for that. And I've written it down. So it's my own personal menu, I'm going to be making a separate video all about this, you guys, so stay tuned for that. All I'm going to say is currently I cannot. Currently I will not. It's not something that um, I have ready to sell. It's not something that I planned on sending out. I have a few ideas of how I can make this available for people that really do ask for it. I get the most reactions and comments on my tea menu, uh, my herbal tea videos in general, but like my tea menu. I still get DMs on my Instagram about my tea menu and unfortunately it's not something that I'm like pushing to sell but 
it's given me a lot of inspiration to say, you know, why not figure out how I can do that? Because I get a lot of requests for this. And obviously I feel like if people are asking for it, then clearly people, you know, want that from me. So stay tuned for a separate video. I will be making all about my herbal tea menu. Next question. How long do herbs last when I make a fresh bag slash jar them, the usage? So when I got that question, I initially assumed um, they were asking how long do they last when I make like, like a tea bag I just made for this tea today. How long does that last until like I can't drink it anymore? That's what I'm assuming. So for people that wanna know that, I basically keep refilling the cup. So let me see if you guys can see this. So this is my second time filling it. I basically keep drinking it and keep refilling it as much as I wanna keep drinking tea, but also I notice the flavor isn't as potent after a while. So at first, you know, your first um, usage of a tea bag, you get the most flavor. You, I think it has the most potency in my opinion, but I keep drinking it until like, I don't wanna drink the tea anymore and I'm done, or, um, and then throw that away and throw it out. And then uh, I notice the flavor isn't as strong. So I feel like it's just kind of, it's done, it's ran its course. And then that's when I finished with it basically. Um, and then jar them. So I assume somebody's asking like, how long do these last in a jar? So far, they're still going strong. Um, I imagine you can look up the shelf life of certain herbs. I personally still keep using them and I've had these for more than a year some like over two years you guys this talking about this just made me think about i have to go back um because there's a question i got that i'll probably answer in that video all about my tea menu right here um when i started working with herbs because i've been at it for a while and I know I've had some of these herbs for a while, but they're still working. Like I smell them and they're still very uh, fragrant. They're very fresh. When I drink the tea, I taste my herbs. Um, but if you wanna know like specifics, I highly recommend everybody that ever watches any of my videos to look up information on your own. So I don't have the answer to like a specific uh, expiration date or like time I just go by my intuition with it if it still smells really potent um, sometimes if you can't just open the jar and smell the herb sometimes you need to kind of um, take the herb itself and kind of see like as soon as I open this jar I can smell this I can smell like just from it being this far I can smell the herb so to me that's still good um, but if you can't smell sometimes, you need to kind of touch it and release that and kind of wake it up a little bit. And I feel like if I could still smell it, if I could still taste it, it's still, it's still good to go. And sometimes like, you know, if something spoils in a jar, you can tell the color changes. Um, the smell is different. Any, any indicator that like it's changed a little bit, I would do your research, but be cautious and look out for those signs as well. Next question, where did I get my tea set? Okay, you guys, so this is my tea set. I have a tray. I have these beautiful tumbler cups that I actually have four. So I just brought two out so you can see those. I love these so much. And then I have my beautiful teapot. All of this I thrifted. I got the set of these tumblers for these and they were super cheap, I can't remember, but you know, I got these from Goodwill. So you guys know it was really inexpensive. The tray, I believe I got from a local thrift shop in Frederick, Maryland, and that was really cheap too. It's really pretty. And then my teapot I got from that same thrift shop. It's like a huge warehouse in Frederick, Maryland. I love finding sometimes what people throw away and reuse on my own, make it my own, revamp it. And I just, I have a thing for thrifting. I can do that all day. 
Next question. How do you know, or how did I find out, um, what exact herb works best together for each remedy? It's a really good question. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I looked it up online. When I got into my um, healing journey, when I got into herbal tea, when I really started like buying my own herbs and finding things out, I did a lot of research online. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube. I've also read some things, like I have two different books. This book is really cute. It's really thin. It's really plain and simple, like it says. It talks about um, herbs that are good for different things, recipes, health and healing. Like it's just, it's a really easy read. I thought that was a really good book to read from. And I, le I learned a lot of things from this actually. So I've read books. But I've just done a lot of research and then I'll see what, it'll have like a list of herbs that are good for that thing. And I kind of will think about, okay, well, what do I think will taste good together? It's kind of like cooking. Like you have to have a taste for things, a smell for things. If I want something for energy, I'll think like a caffeinated tea mixed with like refreshing peppermint. Like think of things, use your imagination and try to put things together that work well together from doing your research and then um, think about things that you think would taste good together. So I really like to get creative with my herbs and mix things around and see what works for me. Another great question is any herbs or roots that I recommend not mixing together? I have to be very honest with you guys and tell you all the herbs that I have here, if I wanna mix it together, if I see that two different things or three different things are all good for this one thing I'm looking to make a remedy for, I just put them together. So me personally, I've never studied deep into herbs you shouldn't mix together. So with that question, I would answer to that, do your own research if you're getting into making your own recipes or I talk about recipes of my own and you're curious of what ones don't mix together from that recipe, do your own research. I'm not somebody that has all the answers. I will admit when I don't know something, but if I generally wanna know something, I'll look it up on my own, so. But the biggest thing I can say to that is, if you're taking medication, because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, I'm just somebody who really enjoys making my own tea for myself, I would kind of look into what herbs you might need to be aware of that might not mix well with medications. Cause that's like a big deal that I know people really need to uh, be aware of more. And that has been brought to my attention as well from other people. It's like, cause I don't take medications, um, but I know a lot of people do. And I know even though it's herbs and you think it's natural, it's safe, which it is very natural. It's very healing. It's very powerful, so you have to be aware of what herbs you might need to be aware of when taking medication too. So that's like the answer I can give to that question. Do your research, and if you're taking medication, do your research on what herbs you should not mix while taking that medication or just consult with your doctor. Last question I have, last question right here is how long did it take to make my menu recipes? The ailments itself are the things that I really wanted to perfect. And then I learned about new herbs, so I had to kind of redo the menu to add the herbs to that remedy. So like, it's taken some time to perfect it. You know, I haven't added any new herbs to my collection. And if I did, I probably would add that to the menu for whatever it's good for, for many different things but it's taken me over a year to really get all of what I've learned together. And this is something I will mention, will always change, will always be added to, will always be updated, but I haven't really added to or updated this in a bit because I'm happy with how it is for me. So yeah. All right, you guys, that is it for my first Q&A video. I hope that this answered some of your questions. If you have questions that I did not get to answer in this video, comment below and if there's enough i'll make another q a definitely you know ask me any questions to do with my channel soul sessions herbal tea myself definitely follow me on instagram so you stay updated on everything that i'm doing and i'm super excited 
to um, do more videos that will be coming out for this herbal tea series. A QA and a was so fun to do for you guys. Answering questions is something I don't often get to do on YouTube for you, so definitely keep the questions coming. And turn your notifications on so you don't miss my next video that will be coming out soon for you guys. I love you so much. Bye.